Okay. Um, in this one exactly, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing that I want to do is um, simplify before I add and subtract. Remember to be able to simplify, our radicands and our roots have to be exactly the same. Now, you can use a factor tree for both of these, right? But as, I, as I've spoken about, guys, when you have it as a square root, I think the easiest thing to do is if you're using a factor tree, well, what would the factor tree be with square numbers? So basically what I would do is I'd break this down into 16 times 2x squared plus 3 times 36 times 2x squared. And the reason why I like writing it down, instead of doing the whole factor tree till you break it down to prime numbers, if you can do the factor tree where you have square numbers as the factors, then you can just take the square root of those numbers. It's much easier to do this with square roots, but when you have like the third, the fourth, the fifth root, um, it gets a little more difficult, so using a factor tree is important. However, now we know what the square root of 16 is, that's 4. So 2 times 4. I know what the square root of x squared is, that's just x. So I'm only left with the square root of 2. Plus 3, square root of 36 is 6. Square root of x squared is x, so I'm left with the square root of 2. So therefore, I have 2 times 4, which is 8x times square root of 2, plus 3 times 6, which is 18x times square root of 2. Now, when we're adding or subtracting, Tiffany, the main important thing is that the root has to have the same index. So since I'm both taking the square root and the radicand, which is just 2, is exactly the same, I can simply combine these two. So 8x plus 18x, those are like terms. So that's going to be 26x square root of 2. And I got one last problem.